Hey everybody, this is Jason, zombie collector if you will, and I have a new 80 cards from the 1980s video. Now I've kind of got away from it, I actually had a few people mention to me recently, what happened to the um, 80 cards from the 1980s, have you stopped or have you just not picked anything up? And actually I have a huge stack of cards I've either acquired, had, or have been sent to me. However, I just, you know, I've had so many other videos to do, I kind of got, I kind of lost uh, track Quite, quite honestly, but I'm going to rectify that now. I have a stack of cards that I'll be showing off today. Well, not today, but uh, do videos. So the first one for the Dr. James Beckett uh, uh, yearbook, I mean, price guide, I mean, uh, manual, is from none other than my granddaddy, Michael P. Payne, P. Payne. And it is from a 1989 Upper Deck. Now, before you all have an, have an explosion in your pants, it is not the King of Virginia. But let's discuss a few of the other rookie cards from 1989 Upper Deck. You have Craig Biggio. You have Randy Johnson. You have Omar Vizquel, I believe, right? You have Jim Abbott. And I think if there, if I'm not mistaken, there is a um, one other. I said, did I say Randy Johnson? Yes. Did I say? Oh, I feel like there's one other rookie card. Um, I don't know what I can't remember. What is the other rookie card? Oh, the other rookie card from that set has a corrected and uncorrected version of the rookie card. But we we're going to talk about the corrected version. And honestly, I don't even know if I have the corrected version. Because I don't care because it's an S. S is an S, right? Upside down, inside out, horizontal, vertical. Up, I don't even know. Uh, it's a, you know, it's an S. And it is none other than Gary Sheffield. Let's, this is Gary, let, let's just let the Gary Sheffield awesomeness just scroll, roll, just, just all over you. So let's read about Gary Sheffield. Oh, John Smoltz. That's another one I was forgetting. Sorry. Smoltzy. So this is mark number 78 for my granddaddy, Mike Payne. Top 80 cards from 1980. Yeah. Woo. But if you're wild and crazy like me, you might even do the top 100 cards from the 1980s. I got I got my pamphlet over here that Jonathan Cuban Collector sent me. So let's read what it says about Mr. Sheffy. 1989 Upper Deck Gary Sheffield corrected number 13 rookie card. Those ribbon packs of 1989 Upper Deck looking for the King Griffey Jr. cards did find this rookie card of a Brewers shortstop who, at the time, was most known for being Dwight Gooden's nephew and for his Gold front teeth. Oh, what? Wait, what? Seriously? The dude has the gold front teeth. I never even noticed this before. So back in the day, <clears throat> apparently he was rocking a grill. Like, that just makes me not like him even more. Like, I mean, how stupid is that? Not only are you a cheater... I mean, he is like literally the um, old grand, the older version of Manny Ramirez. He played on all like fifty-eight baseball teams. And Manny Ramirez played on like sixty-three baseball teams for Major League Baseball. I don't even know what he played all over the world, trying to like you know, trying to be like, hey, look, I'm still good, you know. I mean, Sheffield played for the Brewers, the Padres, the Marlins. I think he played. He had a cup of coffee with the Tigers. He played for the Atlanta Braves. He played for the Yankees. I mean, I don't even know what else. I mean, he probably played for, like, he probably, I mean, he might be trying out next year for my son's baseball team, uh, the travel baseball team. I don't know. But Manny Ramirez did the exact same thing a few years later, you know, trying to be like, look how great I am. I'm so great. I get traveled, sitting around all over the major, major League Baseball. Nobody really wants me because I'm, you know, a cheater. And apparently, in his case, he's rocking some gold teeth. What in the world? But 509 home runs later in a National League batting title, Sheffield stood on his own name. There was an error version of that with the SS 
in the upper right hand corner upside down but just stick with the correct version so there you have it from mike payne and dr james beckett uh about the sheffield number 78 card but this ridiculousness right here man i cannot believe this this card's been around since what 89 so what is that like 30 years 89 yeah, I mean, yeah, 30 years, right? 89, I think that's right. 89, no, no, yeah, close enough, 30 years. Uh, so, dude, what in the world? That's just stupidity right there, stupidity. Like, who, do, who does that? But anyways, whatever. I hope you all enjoy this ridiculousness of Gary Shuffle and his gold teeth, and I'm going to start calling him Goldie. So, Gary Goldie Sheffield go to Sheffield. Uh, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. There'll be more coming. And until next time,